Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this first Friday of the month of February with our devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In this Eucharistic celebration, let us come to the open heart of our Savior, the source of every blessing, healing, and grace. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask our Savior for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that, conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
a reading from the book of Sirach. Like the choice fat of the sacred offerings, so was David in Israel. He made sport of lions as though they were kids, and of bears like lambs of the flock. As a youth, he slew the giant and wiped out the people's disgrace. When his hand let fly the sling stone that crushed the pride of Goliath. Since he called upon the Most High God, who gave strength to his right arm to defeat a skilled warrior and raise up the might of his people, therefore the women sang his praises and ascribed to him tens of thousands and praised him when they blessed the Lord. When he assumed the royal crown, he battled and subdued the enemy on every side. He destroyed the hostile Philistines and shattered their power till our own day. With his every deed, he offered thanks to God Most High in words of praise. With his whole being, he loved his Maker and daily had his praises sung. He set singers before the altar, and by their voices, he made sweet melodies. He added beauty to the feast and solemnized the seasons of each year, so that when the holy name was praised, before daybreak, the sanctuary would resound. The Lord forgave him his sins and exalted his strength forever. He conferred on him the rights of royalty and established his name throne in Israel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be God, my salvation. Blessed be God, my salvation. God's way is an earring. The promise of the Lord is fire tried. He is a shield to all who take refuge in Him. Blessed be God, my salvation. The Lord live, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior. Therefore will I proclaim you, O Lord, among the nations and I will sing praise to your name. Blessed be God, my salvation. You who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed, to David and his posterity forever. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Hallelujah. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread. And people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, It is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, 
the wife of his brother, Philip, whom he married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request, I want you to give me at once, on a platter, the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, this morning, we are presented in our readings with two leaders. The first reading teaches us and speaks about King David. In the Gospel, King Herod. Si Haring David at si Haring Herodes. Pangalan pa lang. Alam nyo na kung sino ang mabuti at sino ang hindi mabuti. Si Haring David at si Haring Herodes. Pero bukod sa pangalan, what is the difference between the two? The difference lies in this. King David listens to prophets. King Herod kills prophets. Si Haring David marunong makinig sa mga propeta. Si Herodes pinapatay ang mga propeta sapagkat ayaw niyang makinig at sumunod sa mga propeta. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, in the book of Sirach, we see here how David, King David, was praised by people because he listened. According to our first reading today, the Lord forgave him his sins. Why? Because the uh, God sent the prophet Nathan to King David to remind him of his sins, to correct his wrongdoings. 
And because David listened to the prophet Nathan, God forgave him of his sins. And the land of Israel was led by King David in a good way. Pinadala ng Diyos si Propeta Nathan kay Haring David para pagsabihan siya, para turuan siya, mali ang ginagawa mo. Buti na lang nakinig si Haring David kay Propeta Nathan. Humingi siya ng tawad sa Diyos, inamin ang kanyang pagkakamali, at ang bayang Israel ay naging maayos at mabuti sapagkat ang kanilang pinuno ay marunong makinig sa propeta ng Diyos. On the other hand, in our gospel reading today, we see King Herod, also a powerful and rich king. But this king did not listen, did not do what John the Baptist was telling him. John the Baptist, the prophet of God, was telling Herod, it is not lawful for you to marry your brother's wife. But still, he continued his wrongdoing. And later on, Herod ordered that John the Baptist be imprisoned and beheaded. My dear brothers and sisters, if the leader of the nation listens to prophets, the nation is blessed. But if the leader kills prophets, the nation is doomed. The nation is cursed. Kapag ang pinuno ng isang bayan ay marunong makinig sa mga propeta ng Diyos, pagpapala ang dumarating. Pero kapag ang pinuno ng isang bayan ay pinapatay, kinukulong at pinatatahimik ang mga propeta ng Diyos, hindi pagpapala ang darating, kundi sumpa ang darating sa bayan. My dear brothers and sisters, God still sends prophets in our midst. Ang mga propeta ay hindi lamang nasa Biblia. Hanggang ngayon, nagpapadala ang Diyos ng mga propeta. Nakikinig ba tayo sa kanila? Or like Herod, we silence them. We dismiss them. Do we still listen to prophets whom God is sending us? Maybe your parents are always reminding you. And maybe we get so irritated already. Naiinis na tayo minsan sa mga magulang natin. Pinagsasabihan tayo. And sometimes we dismiss them. But maybe they are the prophets sent by God. Maybe your teachers at school, maybe your friends, sometimes they also remind you. Maybe also sometimes they try to correct you. And sometimes we dismiss them altogether. But let us be reminded, God sends us prophets. They may be our parents, they may be our friends, they may be our teachers who try to remind and correct us. Let us listen to prophets whom God has sent us in our lives. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Mass, let us pray that we will be able always to listen to the prophets of God. Because when we learn to listen to God's prophets, blessings will come our way. Amen. Please stand. 
our struggle against the forces of evil will be successful to the degree we unite ourselves in prayer. Let us now pray to the God of truth. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church, like St. John, may become courageous proclaimers of the gospel of truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may give wholehearted support to the church's struggle against those dark forces that enslave men to violence and crime. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as Christians, we may be vocal in our concern against those who exploit and for those who are exploited through political pressure and corrupt practices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are victims of oppression may finally gain justice, freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffered and died in faith may gain their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, your love for us never changes or fades away. Give us the courage to walk in your presence all the days of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who, because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness, gave us your only begotten Son. Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with Him, we may offer you worthy homage. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, 
so that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please then. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We would like to thank all of you who have joined us in this celebration of our first Friday Mass, especially to those who are joining us through the online broadcast of this celebration. And also, special prayers for those who, are, who will be taking the bar exam these coming days together with their families and friends. But my prayer is not only for you to pass the bar exam, but my prayer for you is that you will become good lawyers, that you will become good and not corrupt lawyers. I pray that God will make you pass so that you would become a new batch of lawyers, new batch of leaders in this country. I hope you will persevere not only in passing the bar exam, but you will persevere in becoming good, truthful lawyers who will defend the poor, who will defend the good, who will defend the truth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Jesus, we